Good morning. It is half past six in the morning, and it's Friday, the thirteenth of September. And that, my friends, means it's the mid-month book bash. I haven't done the mid-month book bash in ages, so I thought it was about time to do that again. It's early in the morning, <laughs> and I am getting ready to go to work. Tonight we are going to the cinema to watch uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. I think that will be fun. I love the Deadpool films, so that's the plan for today. Um, and Sunday I am going to a meeting in Oslo for the Norcon um, 31. Uh, Norcon is a science fiction convention in Oslo and it's going to be in June next year. So there's a meeting on Sunday, a plan, planning meeting, so I'm going to that. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm not quite sure. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing a reading sprint, but I'm not sure if I, I'm going to do that or just have the day free. There's probably be going to be reading sprints around anyway, so here needs to be dealt with today. <laughs> I am currently reading Morning and Evening, written by Jon Fosse, which was the winner of the Nobel Prize last year. Nobel Prize of Literature. Uh, not the book, but the author, Jon Fosse. Jon Fosse, uh, it's an author I've read before, and I hope to finish this book this weekend. First coffee, first thing in the morning. Good morning and happy Saturday. It is such a lovely day today. It is far into the day already. I haven't read a single page, but I did go and um, uh, potted some plants and I did some gardening and that pretty much wiped me out. I was so tired after that and then I haven't done much. But now I'm going to have a shower and then I'm going to dye my hair because this isn't working. <laughs>
I just finished Morgon och kväll or Morning and Evening by Jon Fosse. And this is technically the fifth book by the author that I've read. Jon Fosse won the Nobel Literature Prize last year. Norwegian author and I've read it in Norwegian Ninosk, which is the original language. And it's such a beautiful language and it's so poetic and it also has like a slight, um, I think you would say magical realism, uh, which for me of course is like fantasy-ish. I wish my phone was good enough to actually catch the moon at the moment because it's like orangey red, so beautiful. I figured out that I really am in the mood for a horror book, so I'm going to read The Perfect Place to Die by Bryce Moore. I know nothing about this book, I just picked it up randomly from Libby. I search horror and this is the book that I picked up. <laughs> Good morning! It is a early morning on a Sunday. The sun is shining and I have coffee and I'm going to read uh, inside because it's getting too cold to sit outside. And then I'm going to have breakfast and then I'm heading out into Oslo for a meeting for Norcon and that's my plan for today, basically. It is half past six, Monday morning. It is the beginning of the last day of September's mid-month book bash. It's a beautiful morning. I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that I think it's a wonderful morning because it's way too early and I'm super tired, but I have to get up and go to work. I 
finished The Perfect Place to Die by Bryce Moore yesterday before the meeting and um, I thought it was horror. <laughs> it was listed on a horror but uh, to me it wasn't very horror. Maybe if I could see the horror elements but to me it was more of a thriller mystery story. Um, so the main character has a sister and the sister uh, runs away from home uh, because uh, the father mm, is abusive. Um, he hit her, hits them. Uh, <clears throat> so she runs away and she wants her sister to come with her. Uh, but then the main character decides to stay at home. Uh, the sister sends letters every week and then the letters stop coming so uh, she decides to go to Chicago to see if she can find her sister and uh, um, it doesn't start out very well for her to be honest with you and um, yeah um, Chicago is by far more chaotic and uh, busy, um, much more so that she could uh, imagine. Uh, she's from a really small town in Utah and um, when she gets to Chicago um, she experiences things so she kind of realizes fairly quickly she can't really trust people and uh, she can't trust the police, she can't, yeah, <laughs> she can't really trust a lot of people. So um, she starts trying to find her sister herself because the police will not listen nobody wants to listen uh, she just say that her sister has just like run away like everybody else so she tries to find her sister on her own she figures out where her the sister's last place of employment was and and uh, she managed to land a job there and uh, by the way, it's set in the, like late uh, 1800s, late late 19th century, um, and it's like the World Fair. Is that what you call it? Uh, it's also taking place, so there's like a lot of additional people that makes things a little bit more extra difficult. Anyway, uh, so she gets this uh, job at this hotel that is a very mysterious hotel. Um, a lot of women just disappears from the hotel, um, much more so than is normal. <laughs> it's a very, very high, high uh, rate. So she um, she tries to investigate, and it's a very strange hotel. It's like doors that leads into like walls, and of course the the excuses that um, a lot of things happened when they built the hotel but you think she can hear things like screams and cries so she she doesn't really believe and she tries to figure out what's actually going on so I thought it was a really good entertaining story I enjoyed it but I didn't find it scary at all uh, it was, uh, it was, it wasn't, it was, how do you say, intriguing or like high, high paced, I think. And then, uh, since I knew that I was going to have another tri train ride back from Oslo, I popped by the library and I picked up Breve from Clara. By Tove Jansson. This is a short story collection by Tove Jansson. If you don't know who Tove Jansson is, she is the creator of the Moomins. This is not a Moomin book at all. <laughs> it's a short story collection and it's one of her later world, uh, works. It uh, was published in first time in 1991. And this is a original Swedish edition uh, because uh, Tove Jansson even though she was Finnish she wrote in Swedish she was like Swedish Finnish so 
so that's where I'm at right now and I hopefully will finish this book today and that would be good because then I would have finished three books in for the mid-month book bash and that would be very good for me so I guess mid mid-month ba book bash is going as it was is supposed to <laughs> It has gotten quite late. I actually finished the Tove Jansson book this morning and I didn't pick up another book actually. <clears throat> so I am extremely tired now. Oh, and I'm going to go to bed. Um, and this will be my mid month book bash video. Bash. Mid month book. Bash? Bash? Is that a word? Oh, it's very close to the Norwegian uh, uh, word for poop, so uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm extremely tired. I'm going to go to bed. Anyway, um, I will see you in my next video. Hope you had a good weekend or whatever it is where you are. Bye!